Hey guys, it's Dr. Kirby here and we're back with another video. Now, I'm not going to react to the patch 5.3 preview because I already saw it in the morning. There was a blackout in uh, at 12 a.m. So um, I slept early for once because, you know, when there's nothing to do, might as well just sleep. And everything was dark. So it was like a free, you know, uh, sign to go to sleep. But I already saw it. Um, they were mentioned the first four minutes of this patch was a lot of arcane stuff. Now it is exciting. I'm more excited for the rewards that they're going to give me when that arcane season drops. Now, the, mo the, the idea of this video is just mostly about, you know, talking about skins. But, you know, I just want to go through a bit of the patch notes of this dev diary and let me know what you guys think when you react to this you know i seen stewart's uh video i haven't watched it yet but i want to see what his views are so on and so forth you know um so first off these two men obviously you know back on my screen again every what six months or four months um you know they look good they're in them arcane uh drip uh it's it honestly if i didn't know this was league i would have said bioshock infinite right um they look good okay so what was the thing i want to highlight there's a singe rework i'm gonna mute maybe not mute semi-mute so there's gonna be a change to singe a lot of the um a lot of the wild rift uh arcane characters are having um uh, rework so singe that's a good one um i don't know how is he going to rework with it because i don't think he's been reworked for pc warwick expected he's kind of there um so i guess a refresh would be nice for him um and the targeting he said will be improved which is great what else uh there's gonna be quest which i like more events and uh, now i wonder if we're gonna have the same currency as this season which was those cogs now i don't have much of those so i don't know what to do with them cogs um so what else no okay this scene when they change girl he they both look good but he was stepping up because of that outfit he was wearing i was like you better calm yourself down see like he, there's a little gun show showing i'm like you need to calm down girl um so they're still going with the hex tech vibe honestly i'm tired of this hex tech vibe it's cute but you know um it's, it's nice to go different i didn't even realize he was not even hex tech infused until recently <laughs> which is so funny this okay. is all in addition to the true damage and low health execute. What else they're gonna talk about? They're helping laners stay on their toes with Oh, this one, girl, this is T. As a support main, obviously I gotta keep my eyes on the map. Now I love a visual and um health indicator. Uh so this is a really nice change. A good example of a good indicator is the accessibility options for Dead by Daylight. Now, if you play Dead by Daylight Mobile or Dead by Daylight PC, you would know that there is a visual heartbeat indicator for um, audio impaired uh, players, which is nice. I like accessibility like that. But for me, um, it's also a nice indicator to react faster. And this is kind of what the vibe is they're giving with uh, League, uh, with this. See it? And it's good because people need to see because they don't listen. So hopefully my ADC will see it. Like, girl, you got to get out of there and I'll protect you while you get out of there. God. Oh, this one. We need to talk about this one. So this was already like announced um, earlier on. I think a lot of people on Twitter were talking about it. Like uh, Royal, you know, Stuart as well. And then Darkbreaker was talking about it. You know, Royal is here for like... He kind of thinks it's kind of messy. Some people say it's a good thing because, you know, the good ones will not lose. But some people might abuse this for smurfing. It might increase smurfing, which I, I totally agree. But it's really hard to... Uh, I'm, I'm like 50% on this subject in matchmaking because I played so many matchmaking games. It's really hard to pinpoint something that fits. If anyone can name a good matchmaking... Um, What's that demo uh, algorithm in any game? Please let me know, and I'll probably check it out, because you know it's it's tough. I guess you know I I can't think of any game that can fit that. Overwatch has an issue like that too, but I don't know if it's fixed as well. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Three tiers, and for our gold and below players, we want to speed up the getting to game process, so we are removing the pick benefits. 
Wow, they're removing the pick fan phase? That is crazy. Okay, for the CN server, we are increasing bands to 5 for master and above. Oh god. And lastly for ranked, we are working hard to improve matchmaking and give you the best experience possible. Okay, there's this game mode, girl. I, I don't know what game mode this is in a, in a game. Like, what MOBA has a game mode like this? So, it could be something unique to any MOBA. Oh, let's talk about events. Not the rank. Oh, I reacted to these already. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Zaya is here uh, for the skin line. I didn't, re I didn't buy any of the passes this this season. Sorry. Um. So you know, pop off, girl. And as an this is he is so good looking. Oh my god. You know, and I see that ring though. So we should not talk about married men like that. Shh. Um. You know, you can compliment people, but you know, don't go horned up. You know, um, but yeah, the main goal we want to talk about is skins. Now, there's a lot of skins that wasn't mentioned in the last video I did yesterday, which was the patch 5.3. But y'all got the gist already, so let's talk about it. Maybe we'll find the answer in the scrolls of Shanghai. He's he's hot. Okay, so Jax, Jax got a legendary exclusive last year or last a few months ago. Now he's getting another one. Good for her, girl. We'll mute this in case of the sound. Uh, he looks cute. Who is this one? Orn. Uh, I'm sup that's a really nice one, Orn. Orn Hub. He's a little baby. Orn is pesto. You know, that penguin. Ari, we saw this already in leaks already. She kinda okay, she kinda looks like KDA, but if she was the Shanghai, which is kinda she kinda also looks like Firefox Ari. I don't know why. It kinda looks there's something dissimilar. I already reacted to Stargazer Sona. Good thing I reacted to that yesterday so that the views will click there. <laughs> Um, I, I'm guessing she's the first batch, which is fine, honestly. Uh, Talon, who, for an epic skin, he has a legendary quality, and I thought he was legendary, but he was an epic. Gwen, Gwen, Gwendolyn, um, girly girl, she is the moneymaker of this game. She is not Lux, she is her own thing. Battleship Soraka, she kind of is giving, um, if you're a Power Rangers fan, the Cat Ranger, because she is rocking the orange white, or if you're a uh sentai fan the swan one from power rangers uh spd silver battle mare um i already seen this she was eating it's vain random but it's cute we got a bat girl we got our bat girly girl um our homophobic queen over here okay this one confused me i'm guessing they didn't want to give seraphine too much legendaries so they had to, and Fiora is kind of like similar to Gwen in terms of popularity. Like if this champion is popular in PC, this champion might not be popular in Wild Rift and vice versa. So I kind of get it. And it makes sense for Fiora and Aatrox because they're both top laners. Um, so someone said, my friend said Trindamir should have been the legendary, but you know, you need a hot girl. So, and, oh, this is a hot skin for Aatrox. So I'm glad that this is going to be a permanent skin because I know Anima squads are not, Got uh, limited time. Oh, look at that, he's hot. Um, prestige select battle misfortune. So this is actually not similar to the ones we had on PC. This is actually a different one because look, it's a bit more, you know, like thought out compared to the prestige uh, mythic chroma on MF. So um, it's cute, but no, this one I might get. I love this one. We haven't had a mythic chroma in a while, and this might cost what eight hundred. This, uh, no, this is not a prestige select, so that might cost 500. Winter Blast Annie, that's really nice. Really recent as well. It's it, it, This will mark a year um, when this skin line came out, so that's not bad. Winter Blast Diana is a really good skin, but from the model, it looks very underwhelming. It doesn't really do the splash art justice, but this is a really good skin, FX-wise. Yeah, but she just she wasn't giving that much. Another exclusive we have is Winter Bless Lilia. Again, Lilia is a money maker here. You can tell. Um, she looks really good. Hecarim as well. Two horses, so that's a nice concept. So, if you if you love four legged people, this might be your skin line. Now, I I was so excited when I saw this one. Winter Bless Nami. This is really like, I was like, this girl hasn't had a skin in a minute. So, congratulations. Why did I think that Coven Nami was here? Dark Star Thresh. I honestly thought Dark Star Thresh was already here, but I guess I was wrong. So I'm guessing this this skin line is in the D patch. Like at the end, this is giving really at the end vibes for me. Dark Star Karma, I own this skin. This is a really nice skin. She was giving, she looks a bit better here. 
and look at him looking like that girl stop now at the end there was this new um ce uh, executive producer or something like that um and she was talking about like rumble and then she said something like pop my head so i'm guessing the next like theme for this game is Banzel city so that's exciting um rumble poppy i don't know who the other one is there's three Rumble Poppy and someone else. But this patch is very arcane focused. You really tell that they're trying to milk everything with this season. That's why the skins are good. That's why, you know, the event is happening, so on and so forth. But that was the video. I just want to do a quick breakdown. Um, what do you guys think of the entire video as a whole? You know, I kind of I kind of got I kind of fell off when they were starting to talk about arcane because I just want to see that for myself with no like promotion. I don't want to be like, okay, we get it, you watched it, whatever. But yeah, good. I'm glad the eye candies were there though to keep me like you know awake. Uh, um, but yeah, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do you know mostly you know whatever I want content or what games I like, uh, and I've been doing a lot of MOBA skins. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys do subscribe because only eighty percent of you guys aren't subscribed and twenty percent of you are. So uh, we want to get that reduced. So please do subscribe if you want to follow me on Twitter to see me behind the scenes and pop off. I am Dr. Curvy underscore YT on Twitter. I have a Discord if you want to join or and be notified. Also, turn on your notification bell. If you want to donate to the channel to support me, I do have a PayPal, which is a coffee in the description below. If you don't have any change, you can just, you know, not skip the ads because it helps a lot. Uh, it, it's, it's a huge deal, actually, to, you know, watch ads till the end. So please do. Um, what else? Yeah, that's all I have to say. Again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this might be a, the patch where I play a lot more and make it my daily game again. But, you know, you be the judge of, ju uh, judge of that. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.